Hi, I'm Graham. I'm a tour guide with ECT Travel, and they have asked me to talk my favourite quilt. And as a tour guide with ECT, I've been hither and yon to some very big quilt festivals, and I've come away with a feeling that I can do that. So um, <laughs> that's a little immodestly of me, but I have given it a go and I've ended up with a bit of a collection of quilts, some better than others and some uh, some okay so-so, but this is my favourite one. And before I show you it, I've just got to tell you, um, the quilt is called Toll Tech. And well, a friend of mine saw it and said, Oh, it's, uh, I love the, the design. It's very Toltec. And I thought, oh, yeah, nice. Not knowing what Toltec was, so I looked it up. And it's a Mesoamerican civilization who were just before the Aztecs. And they were from about 900 to about 1150 uh, AD. And the Aztecs looked on the Toltecs as being a superior culture race and actually Toltec in Aztecian let's say means artisan and which is really what it all boils down to um, it's an artisan quilt and I like the idea of being an artisan and so Toltec it is. Um, whenever I make my quilts I always use up the last fabric to make a bag. Um, and if there isn't any fabric left, well, anything will do. But I never part with my quilts. They all live under the bed. And the fabric of the bag, to me, illustrates, of course, what's in the, uh, in the uh, what, which quilt is in the bag. So let me start with the bag. It is this. Um, I don't know how well you can see the color, but it's a, a yellowy, greeny, almost lime with dots of white in it. Um, yeah, so I so spot that under the bed. I know exactly which quilt I'm after. So here we go with a quilt. It's all on my lap here and bear with me. Here we go. There we go. There. Toll tech. Right. So. It measures five foot eight all around. And let's bring it up. Five foot eight all around and is finished. Bordered with the same um, yellow that is the bulk of the design. In the very center is a Missouri star. Hopefully you see that. And with the Missouri star, I was a little bit surprised then to learn about Toltec and also Missouri's up there and Mexico is down there. Um, perhaps they're interrelated, I can't say. Um, but there's one thing about this quilt, which uh, was very interesting to me. Many years ago, I wrote a prose essay and it was just when word processors came out and I sat there typing this, uh, this essay and it was really about Armageddon. And as I was typing, the muse was sitting on my shoulder. My hair was standing on end with the excitement of what I was writing. And the words were flowing beautifully. Well, so it was with this quilt. And I made it on the bed. I made the Missouri start in the middle and I just didn't know what to do after that. It wasn't pre-designed on paper and it just grew outwards on my bed, up and across on my bed. 
and the muse was on my shoulder, my hair was standing on end, and it was so exciting that I spent the whole day um, making this quilt, and by the end of the day, the top was finished. I just couldn't stop. I couldn't just let that energy go, and so the top was um, was completed in the day, and then um, then just the rest of it followed. Uh, was the, the 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 main thing was about the design, the quilting. Um, you know, but took a short while afterwards. Um, so that's really its history and its creation. Now, let me just show you, if I can, how I've quilted it. Um, up in the yellowy red, uh, if I come close, I don't know if you can see, I've just followed the checks up and down and in straight lines. I can tell you it really made me go cross-eyed as I did it. I don't know if that's visible at all, um, but up and down, up and down. I had to be careful about the way I did it so that I didn't sort of get this heron bone fashion. So instead of just going up all the same way, I went up and then down so that the, the stitches across the fabric sort of equaled themselves out. Otherwise the fabric would have gone off in a slight herringbone fashion. Um, it, there's only, I don't know, what is it? Perhaps just over a quarter of an inch between each line and over all the yellow that was really um, hard on my eyes. Um, all the blue, uh, actually it's tartan, um, has been free motion quilted. So if I just show you that, um, some people could call that um, uh, vermicelli. I hope it's coming across. Um, vermicelli. And I find free motion quilting in vermicelli the most satisfying thing, just to sit there and push the fabric around. I can do it all day. Um, and just making squiggles with the sewing machine. I really do enjoy it. Um, the backing is quite curious. I managed to find the, this wadding um, at a quilt show that I was working for, uh, for with ECT. And it is actually, it's, there's the backing. And it is actually, uh, the wadding, the, the quilt, in, uh, no, the, well, the inside of the quilt is already a cotton backed piece of wadding. So it's cotton, cotton with a very thin layer of wadding in between, and you buy it off the roll like that. And so I use that as the backing because that meant I had already had a, a pre made back and I didn't need to worry about a whole new quilt from the back. Um, it is all, the fabric is from, the, the yellow is from a fabric shop um, and is 100% cotton. The tartan is from Hobbycraft and it was reduced to clear. So I was very pleased to, to buy all they had. And it was just enough to do that. You'll notice that there's nothing left of that on the bag in which it lives because I used it all. And one last look at the Missouri star in the middle. Um, I'm not entirely sure that it's cotton. It doesn't feel like cotton, but there again, it doesn't feel like polyester either. Um, so I'm very pleased to use it. It does look the sort of fabric which may run when it gets wet, but I don't use any of my quilts, which mean they never have to be washed. I just make them and they live under the bed, ready to be pulled out for things like this. And really it's about the ownership. It's about me saying, I made that. And all of my quilts are the sort for me that I would hang on the wall rather than put on the bed. Um, this is a very much me wall hanging. And if I could, if I had the space, it would be on a wall, but I just simply don't have the space. And also I don't have this sort of theme 
running through the house anyway it's a i've got a 70s retro feel going on here and this is just not related to that so under the bed it goes and i hope you had um i hope you enjoyed seeing it um so that's all i can tell you one last view just in case it didn't come up across on the original when i held it up because i can't see now what you're looking at but i hope that that shows you my favorite quilt thank you very much